Okay, so chapter 10 deals with Franklin Roosevelt and the New Deal, 1933 to 1939. Uh, uh, the, this chapter is going to have, uh, uh, going to go over the first New Deal and the second New Deal. Now, when Franklin Roosevelt was elected in 1931, he promised that he was going to create a New Deal for, for all Americans, that, that the government was going to be involved in, in the economy, unlike President Hoover, who believed government should be hands off. Now, Franklin Roosevelt came from a really wealthy family, um, uh, was governor of New York, uh, uh, was in a wheelchair for, for he developed polio, 1920s. Um, it's very rare to find a, a photo of him in a wheelchair uh, uh, because he wanted to, to present this image of, of um, vitality during the Depression. Um, um, and again, there was no TV during this time. So, so the newspapers went along with this, um, uh, you know, would only photograph, if you see photos of him, he's normally sitting down. Um, um, and so, so when he came on to the, to the stage, um, his first hundred days, first thing he did, first thing he did was he repelled prohibition. He brought back alcohol. Ah, oh, there was much rejoicing. Um, one of the things to know about, about the Prohibition movement is it didn't outlaw all alcohol. Um, um, if you needed for religious services, uh, uh, that, that, that was allowed. Um, there were certain exceptions in that. But, but um, um, Americans found that it was very easy to just make it at home. So there was a huge underground economy um, um, dealing with the sale of alcohol. So, so by, by making it legal again, um, um, uh, it was, was the thing he did first. But also what he did was he started to develop this philosophy that nobody's got any money. The only people who has money is the federal government. And so the federal government should step in and start to create um, uh, work. We have all these people who are unemployed. So um, let's figure out a way to make them do stuff. So first place he went is he looked at the farmers. Now the farmers had been struggling since the mid-1920s, so he said, well, what are we going to do for the farmers? We have farmers pouring milk out because there's too much milk and the price is really low. And the, and the farmers are trying to create shortages by pouring milk. So I have people pouring milk out in the country and in the city I have people starving. So we need to fix that. So he said, why don't we pay people not to grow food? Ah, what a great idea. So those were called subsidy payments. And so it was trying to get a handle on, you know, trying to, uh, on how much food was grown in the country. Um, um, so he said, OK, well, well, what about those people? Who else? Well, we have all these people in the cities who are looking for work. So why don't we create some projects uh, throughout the country um, um, and, and Let's not just like like build a road, but let's create designs around it. So you get the architects and the engineers involved, um, uh, and and several places uh, around Los Angeles, like the East LA uh, Coliseum was built during that time. The the, the uh, LA River, uh, the aqueduct system. Uh, there was a big flood here in Los Angeles in the 1930s, 32, 33. And so uh, they built a, a way to get all the water, or, or much of the water, out of the city and into the, into the ocean. Um, um, so all around the country, there were, there were uh, uh, projects being done. Well, what about kids? Can we do something with kids? Yeah, let's, let's send them up to the forest. And we'll have them you know, like, like work on parks and, and, and build trails and make benches and stuff like that. Well, what about the artists? What should we do with them? Well, let's hire band people and, and, and they can do summer concerts and we'll have playwrights and, and musicians and, um, um, you know, and, and let's have them do stuff. And so, so um, it was this idea that, that um, uh, you know, that, that government was responsible 
for the welfare of its citizens. Um, a couple things that were really important that uh, Franklin Roosevelt did that I just want to note, note uh, the Wagner Act um, um, made unions legal. Um, uh, before that, you would have strikes, and, and the government would call out the army or National Guard and beat some heads and stuff like that. Um, um, but in, 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 in the 1930s, the Wagner Act became the law of the land, and unions were legalized. Um, also, uh, what are we going to do about uh, 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 sort of widows and orphans? Uh, parents die, husband you know, is the worker, dies. What about the people left behind? And so the Social Security Act was also started during this time to try to create a safety net uh, um, for, for widows and orphans. Um, that would later become expanded in the 1960s under, under uh, Lyndon Johnson. But Franklin Roosevelt um, um, was, was an extraordinary man, served uh, as president, longest uh, uh, serving president. Uh, uh, from 1933 up to his death in 1945. Uh, they made a constitutional amendment about him because he ran and won four times and they said after that um, um, you can only serve two terms. So um, that's chapter 10 and I hope you enjoy chapter